60 cent? Come on, Pew, 60 cent. That's me. Six, right. six, 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 it doesn't work like 50 cents. Yeah, six, 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 six,
Um, okay. You have a lot of interesting pictures. something about that last picture the one of me uh, no that was my one. okay no he can't i said he can't that's my one light photography now where's the light that one was in total darkness just by moonlight what iso 12800 try that with your face hoss oh, <laughs> oh. 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 oh it's on <laughs> it's on like donkey uh -huh. Kong. i think it's quite fitting that there's a icon over the top of this picture. Um, okay. So, so yes, your, your specialty is variety. Absolutely. I have no idea what you shoot, but you do have a penchant for some humor in your pictures. Yes. Like, like time light. Like, I have a penchant for echoing too much up here. Sorry about that. Um, there's definitely some humor that kind of runs through this. Um, I love how you you see things. Like you have a very cool perspective. You lose me a bit on some of the nature stuff. I mean, you have some very cool nature pictures, and you know some that seem very like Grandma shot them. You know, um, that reminds me of that movie Toys. Yeah. Did you ever see that, Robin Williams? It does. That reminds me of that. I I do like this as far as as a pictorial scene. I love the shadows, mm -hmm. and I love this little cloud formation right here. And it's, it's very simple. Now this is just a macro shot of quarters, and I'm like, meh, next. Um, because the light is just kind of boring. The dimes, actually. What's that? Dimes. Dimes. 60 cents, see? Eh? 60 cents. 60 cents. Oh, that's see, what it looks I wasn't like. going to correct you because you're my husband, and I should right. use it missing. Uh, yeah, that's what is it, nickel and copper, or whatever that is? Um, you know, interesting character. I don't. I, I. I. can't put you. I can't put a body of your work together. I can see some like nature, wildlife stuff, and some people stuff, but I, I don't see a cohesive thread that goes through all of these pictures. Would it have been easier had they been categorized? For us? No. I mean, you know, it's. It, uh, you should be able to take a bunch of your pictures, throw it all down. And we see a common and, and how you shoot this genre and how you shoot this genre and how you shoot this genre should have some sort of cohesive thread of, of this picture I think would have been great had you moved a little bit more to the left and taken the van out the side of his head. Yeah, this because then uh, then that would have been a very strong portrait to me. Just a slight shift over. Yeah, I would agree. That is a little distracting back there. But he's got a great face. Mm -hmm. Um, a nice fill light in these shadows right here. Uh, whether that be a natural building fill light or yeah. if you were popping a little flash in there, I don't see a flash in the eyes. No, I say it's natural. <clears throat> it was just a grab shot from the bus stop. Um, I don't know. I, I just, you know. HDR. Yeah, this is one of those pictures, yeah, I've seen that, but I've HDR. seen it. HDR. <clears throat> like the hmm. nth degree. HDR. <clears throat> that is yeah, such a great HDR. picture. How, what? But look at all the noise. It must be like ISO 12,000 yeah, or something. Severe, a <laughs> severe crop. Is this a moon? Okay. Severe crop. Mm -hmm. um, just what, where, how did you, where, I mean, obviously you were in a graveyard, but just. And he was throwing himself into a grave. Yeah, it's called losing my religion. <laughs> <laughs> they work better with titles, but. You know. Oh. 
Okay, we're not allowed to let him talk. Oh. Oh, poor bird. It's a nice portrait. This, uh, this window. Oh, hey, hey, take it easy. This window back here is kind of distracting to me in these very sharp lines. It almost creates a pattern, but not quite. Um, uh, but I'm drawn to his face, yeah. and I'm drawn to the emotion, but this window right here, uh, I'd like it gone. And, and just sim simplify this picture in composition. Um, I don't know, it's a, What's going on with the sides of this picture? Yeah, it's something, a bridge is doing something That's weird. That's that last so. picture that was still up. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, I see, it I see what you're saying. It is. <laughs> um, we are seeing this full frame, though, right? Yeah. That's not, okay. Well, I'll be. Um, you know, it's, you know, guys running through smoke at the beginning of their game, and it's, it's okay, but I don't know what else to do with it. Um, no, that's the next cut picture. And then what, what freaks me out is like, okay, there's all this kind of like slice of life stuff and some nature stuff, and then there's these random wedding pictures in, in here. Um, maybe, you know, I guess in some ways maybe I would have liked to have seen, okay, here's my people stuff, here's my nature stuff, but there is something going on here. All right. Mm -hmm. So behind it all is his moonlight sound portrait. Right. Behind everything he yeah, does. It in light yeah. Uh, infrared. Yep. Uh, it's okay. And remember, I'm not a nature photographer, so I'm coming at this as a critic, going, eh, I don't know. Um, it's interesting. It reminds me of something. I'm not going to say what it is. <laughs> nice. Um, I just can't bring myself to like this. At all. There's something very stock of photography about this to me. Yeah. And I'm not going to say what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, uh, you know, it's a firework shop. Right? How many fireworks pictures have we seen? A lot. And are we going to say that this is one of the most memorable fireworks pictures we've ever seen? No. No. Until he tells us something like, no, it's actually. It's a shot by my, you know. <laughs> That was actually, this is a, actually on the opposite end, this is a fireworks shot in the middle of the day. Right. <laughs> uh, no. no. Just the lighting isn't all that great. I, I see where you're going with this. It's an interesting, you know, colors and contrast and lines and this eyeball from out of nowhere. But the light is just very flat and very boring. I don't care if it was the man. <laughs> 12, I love then, this picture. It's just funny. Like, what in the hell is going on? Why does he have a red bow in his muzzle? And it's just, it's one and of those. And why isn't she taking a picture of that? <laughs> and why won't she put her pop up flash away? <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting No, oh, it's nah. sunset. <laughs> We've all taken that picture. Even I've taken that picture. And then another wedding shot. Oh, that's a nice moment. Mm -hmm. I love that. I think that's very interesting. I think it's close. I think it's, it, the idea it's is there. It's there. Lord knows that's how I feel and how most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's almost there. It's almost, I want them stacked in. Well, how is he supposed to do that? Hey, birds, yeah. could you all come together? Oh, no, he gets a second mortgage on his house and buys a 600 millimeter lens. Um, and moves Peterson's the hell out of it. I appreciate um, what you were attempting to do here. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. It's just kind of flat. I think I think yeah. overall a, a boost in contrast. Maybe you could even go black and white. But that brown water back there is black and white, kind yeah. Of muddy and flat and I, I think don't HDR it, but it probably is muddy water. Ooh. This okay. picture is brilliant. <laughs> I cannot get over how brilliant this picture is. <laughs> Those three guys, Lo and uh, Larry, Mo and Curly, there. Um, uh -huh. It is. I'll even love that it's 10, 11, 12. 
<laughs> wow. Okay. Just well done. Yeah. I'm going to shake your hand. Thank you. That's great. I don't want to shake that other guy's hand. Uh, I totally watched. Um, you know, I, it's, I don't know. Pretty. Hey, that's pretty. Um, that's kind of interesting. Um, this is too flat. It, it needs a punch and contrast. Shadows in the game. Um, I, I really wish that, that we had more time with you to go through and really call through and pull, like, this. I would not ever put that um, picture anywhere <laughs> else ever again. Yeah. That picture is from henceforth now should just be banished. Be banished from all of life. Um, yeah. Oh, well, here you got a nice lens from somewhere. 300? 400? Uh, 400. 400? Look at that, 300, 400, 400, 401, whatever it takes. Um, wow, that's a nice, I'm gonna tell you exactly what my college professor told me when I came back my very first weekend of, uh, I went up to uh, the Vietnam Memorial Wall uh, to shoot a project uh, on Memorial Day. And I came back with like rolls and rolls and rolls of film. I had them on the, on the light box and I, Professor walks up to me, looks at all of me, goes, Zach, these are quite possibly some of the most beautiful pictures I've ever seen in the backs of people's heads. <laughs> I can really feel the emotion from the back of their head. Good job. And he just pats my back and he walks away. Like, I had bankrupted myself going up there shooting all this film and I had nothing but like 30 rolls of the backs of people's heads. Um, <laughs> yeah, way to deflate me, Schaefer. Uh, I don't know, it, it, it's, I don't know. It's a rainbow, clouds. What do you want to do? I love this picture. I love how they're scattering. <clears throat> I bet you, I bet you anything, they're just hanging out and suddenly you had a shutter release in your hand, you went boom! Or a thunderclap, maybe? Oh, I that. From the approaching storm? He summoned a thunder, thunderclap. It's called thundering herd. Get it? Ah. Uh, Morning thunder. Um, infrared also. Yeah, but I love this picture. I love, they're kind of going different directions. There's a scattering. It, it, it doesn't, the, the content like, it is an infrared shot, but here's a good example of content is beating technique. The technique is you shot this infrared, which is different. But the content is more powerful than the technique of infrared. So I see, hey, it's infrared, but the content is really cool. But let's go back to Meg's question. Meg, ask that question again. I said, what do you want to do? I don't know. I see sports, I see people, I see landscape, I see animals. I lack focus. Well, that's one way to put it. Well, that looks pretty good focus. <laughs> that guy, my camera doesn't lack like focus. No, you see weddings. I would say the first, other than some of these shots I'm not so fond of, like the ones toward the end, I feel like you kind of lost. Like this, what's this? Um, Right, yeah. Justin Bieber goes to town. <laughs> no, I mean Justin Bieber goes to the North Pole. Oh yeah. Oh right. Sorry. I. You have a very interesting perspective. I. Don't, I feel like you have a lot of potential. You just need to hone it down. To <laughs> oh, that's that. <laughs> you need to hone it down to what? To his private parts? <laughs> well, you know, there's kind of a bit of a running theme in that junk. So I think that's a great shot. That's very interesting. Like you have a lot of interesting things to show, but Not I mean, when you said variety, you weren't kidding. Right. Like that doesn't need to be in there. But again, no. this is a thumb drive. But I love this. I do too. I love this. This reminds me of Michael Sebastian. Slice of bit. Life. Yeah. Americana. I love his little, you know, fruit stand going on. There's just there's so much. This is like Michael Sebastian in that everything has a very specific. This chair is. Specifically supposed to be there. These flowers are specifically supposed to be there. That that welcome sign is supposed to be exactly there. Like it all makes sense. 
Um, why? You know why? They probably put it there. No, it's because it's, it's real. Right. <sighs> but you saw it, you captured it, you framed it, you exposed for it, you composed this shot, and, and everything seems absolutely perfect. Um, and there are pictures of yours that we've laughed at, like, wow, good capture, you know, the bird looking at his junk, and uh, that's a funny football player picture, and um, oh, look, he's dying. Um, you know, like... <laughs> Suicidal Robin. Suicidal Robin. Uh, that's, that's such a great band. Um, <laughs> but, you know, this, this actually, you know, this, this, okay, here you go. This is something interesting. And then it's, ah, okay, you know, oh, that sucks with Pelican. Um, but I've seen this picture a million, million times before. I've seen that picture a million times. God, that almost looks. Uh, did you Photoshop that? No. That's weird. Okay. Oh, the legs are right. Oh, you forgot to Photoshop the other leg. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Best tripod. <laughs> we don't want to talk. He doesn't about like this. it when you make fun of him. <laughs> But he, he just tries to do everything his bigger brother does. Um, you know, but we've seen this picture a hundred million times before. Um, it's a panorama. Okay, great. Out of focus. It doesn't look really sharp. Ah, no. Um, huh. Mm -hmm. I, I, there's something about your pictures I'm really drawn to. I get, I've said it before, your perspective. That doesn't, that's not all. That's not one of them. No, it's not. That's Again, not that's not one of them. That's not, not one, one of them. them. Not one of them. No, this looks out of focus. Her face has been dodged. Hand of God dodging on her face, it looks like. No. No. I, it, there's potential there. I mean, look, it's a Mercedes parked outside of, you know, Wait, the, wow. the shack here. But Is that where you live? Yeah, that's my house. Is it really? No. Okay. <laughs> Here's that. It's my Here's one. I, I'm going to go with Meg on this. This is an unfortunate picture. It seems completely wrong, yet... It's so interesting. There's something yeah, really interesting twice. about it. I love the shadow on her leg. Yes. And her facial expression is pretty awesome. I mean, it's a down Main Street kind of shot, which we totally try to avoid. But, but her crotch is in a crotch position. But there's something in there. Well, what, what does he do with this? If Michael Sebastian shot sports. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> that horse. How did you do that? See, I wouldn't say that that's, that's too busy. I wouldn't say that goes. That would go because it's, well, it's you. God, look at all the noise. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So, <clears throat> what do you want to do? You just... Are, are, I just his, are you content with, hey, I like to go out and take pictures of shit I see, and, and that's it. And, and that's totally great. Like, good for you. Like, like so, I, so far, I have been. Okay. But. Do you want to find a focus, or do you just enjoy the hell out of it? Because I tell you what, as a working photographer, it is hard for me to hold on to the just, I just love to go out and shoot pictures just for the heck of it, and I don't care what the subject is. Like everything has to have some purpose and focus and meaning and it's going to be promotional and it's going to, it's always comes back to the business and I hate that I lose the purity of my photography. So when I'm talking to someone, I, my fault is I'm going to come at you saying, how are you going to make money at this? How are you going to find clients doing this? When really you might just enjoy the hell out of just shooting pictures and not really care. It's well, fun. don't get me wrong. I'd like to. I'd like to get rich doing it. But my <laughs> greatest have a collective <laughs> laugh. But my greatest, my greatest fear is that I have such a passion for it. I'm afraid that if I went to the, you know, like you're saying, I don't want to lose that. You don't want to lose the joy. Yeah. Yeah. I talked to a, a photographer a long time ago when I was just getting into it, and he did shot about 50 weddings a year. And I said, well, what kind of pictures do you shoot when you're not, you know, getting paid? He says. I don't take a picture unless I get paid for it. Yeah. And I thought, I don't want to be that guy. Yeah, it's you easy know? to be that guy. That's so. why I took up street photography in the last year, just because ain't nobody going to hire me to be a street photographer, but I love it. You, you know? do what you love. And 
put, you know, but then I end up in a gallery and making a promo piece and, you know, and trying to put it out in the world and I just, that's where I use that word, honey, that you don't like. Or, or, but. What would happen if he put together some of these images like the Robin and the football um, players? I, I see. You know what? You and he great could take at. it and, and just shop it around to art directors. I think some of them would no. totally like it. No, 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 no. Oh, I, okay. It's, I'm wrong. I, I, well, my opinion. You ask me. You ask me my opinion. I know you don't like hearing it. <laughs> That's why I'm here. No, I was talking to my wife. Oh, yeah. She doesn't. She doesn't. We were making this real personal. No. Um, Kind of you would be, counseling. let me tell you what, where, where you would be great, where you'd be awesome, as a daily paper. You are an awesome daily newspaper photographer right now. And it's, it's, it's the kind of job where God knows what you have to shoot. You have to shoot everything from portraits to a still life to you got to go get a feature every day. Um, and you've got to shoot some sports. Like... Like, if you could, you know, just start stringing for a local paper, um, because you, uh, that, that job explicitly demands that you can shoot a variety of things. And you can shoot a variety of things. And you've got great feature pictures. And I think I could send you on an assignment and say, look, you know, hey, this couple's getting married. I need a nice little moment for them. And you could get that moment. Hey, we need a nice, we're doing a little travel piece about, you know, Smith County up north of us. And we need some notes, some nice pictures of Smith County to run this travel piece. And bam, you could nail it. You know, we're doing a food piece. We need this cake shot. I think you could shoot it. I think that would, that'd be great for you. And you're funny, and you're personal. I mean, I've never met you before, but like, dude, we got to go get beers because you got stories to tell and I want to hear it, you know. <laughs> And you'd have just you'd have a great you have a great newspaper portfolio here, in here somewhere. If you called this down, that's my thought. Thank I could, you. I'm just usually talking right out of my ass, but um, I think yeah, that's what I think. Any questions? About that gift card. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Zach. That is awesome. <laughs> wow. Hey, before you go, make sure you write your name, number, email address down. I got you. That was very, very entertaining. <laughs> and it wasn't us. I know, right? <laughs> uh, all right. That was awesome. Any questions?